Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to answer Ralph's question here. Do you think having work experience before getting your master's is important, or is undergrad straight to master's a solid path to quant? So this is going to be a little controversial here as, as usual. I don't think work experience adds any value whatsoever, and I know this is going to be like, oh, Dimitri, there's these cases, and you did have work experience before you started, and yada, yada, yada. No, it really doesn't add that much quant value. Now, it does add value in the sense of like, you might have some experience here and there, and I'll explain that here in a second. But in my personal perspective, the best quants I have ever come across, the best people I've worked with consistently, are those that really pursued quantitative finance as an academic pursuit, like something they just really love. They eat, sleep, and breathe stats, math, computer science, and finance, all wrapped into an amazing package we call quant finance here. Now, Having work experience for a quant, you can't really get work experience unless you have a master's degree. So there's not really any relevant skills to get into quant without the master's here. Now, I know people are going to say, but in my country, I'm not talking about every other country out there. I'm talking about the U.S. because that's where I reside. This is my expertise and domain here. And there are a few firms here and there that hire undergrads and, you know, pat on the back to them for training these individuals or whatnot. But the vast majority of these that I've seen that are, put in air quotes here, quants aren't really quants. They're the ones doing the nitty gritty dirty work that no one else wants to do, like cleaning data. Because guess what? Anyone can clean data. I can give you a little bit of guidance here and you can just go out and do it. Um, but to go straight into the masters here, right? You, I want you to remember all the math that you did because your masters here in quant finance is going to build on your academic understanding here. You're going to forget a ton of math if you take off two, three, four, five years to work and then go back. So I think it makes the most sense academically and professionally to go straight from undergrad right into the industry. You're not going to have work experience that's super relevant. But if you wanted to get work experience here, a little tidbit here. If you want to get work experience, get some sort of analytical work, get some sort of statistics job, get some sort of data science job because you can get real world problems. You can kind of wrestle with them and wrestle with data and figure out that the world does not work like your models say they do. That's kind of the best way to get experience to do that. Now, there are quant masters that do require work experience. These are typically business programs. So these programs, I'm not going to say they're good or bad, but these programs in themselves are going to be focused more on, let's take a wide range of students from a wide range of backgrounds, teach them some quant finance, and hopefully they can get a job, right? It, it's just not the same as taking, like I just talked about Michigan's program where it's like they take mainly math students or those with a solid math background that have meeting prerequisites for math. Um, a typical finance student in the US, so myself included, and I graduated with my finance degree, did not have the math required to get into that program. So that program at Michigan now is much different than the one I got into many years ago. The reason for this though is because they want to make sure they can take you from a undergrad level of math and really advance you to a really, really deep mastery level of mathematics, you know, even taking classes alongside PhD in math. So that's, from my perspective, you really want to work in quant. And when I say quant, I mean like research. I mean model development, model validation. This is what I consider quant. You're going to want to go straight from undergrad into grad school. If you're going to want to be like a financy guy that comes up with strategies and thinks things through and doesn't really do much programming, or you want to be on the flip side of that, you want to do quant dev, which is like solid, hardcore computer science, go get a computer science degree. That's not in my realm of quant here. That's not what I'm talking about. But if you want to do model development, you want to do model validation, you want to build out strategies and do research from a coding research perspective here, I would go straight from undergrad into grad school because you're going to forget a lot of that information. So Anyways, those are my two cents. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.